Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And I thought I would come on today and do a color and chat with you. So I will let you, uh, I'll get started here and then we can chat as I'm coloring. So I'm coloring out of this color book. It's a wonderful color book. Look at how nice and thick that is. And it's called Love and Peace Color Book by Nina, Ta Nina Taylor. This was gifted to me by my sweet friend Jennifer. Her channel name is Jennifer Lopez. And um, she gifted me this book and she has the same book. So we've done some buddy colors out of here, but it's a really great relaxing book. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna do a page in here. And I had chose this page um, and it's not a real difficult page. So I thought, maybe I'll just do a color and chat with this one. So I'm gonna get started right away here so that we can chat as we go. And um, I do put a piece of card stick, a nice thick piece of card stick in between the page I'm coloring and the other page so that if there's any um, leakage or, you know, that it seeps through that it won't go on to the next page. And I am using ultra fine Sharpies. So they do bleed through, so um, if you're if you have a book that's double sided sharpies are not what you want to work with um but anyway so i haven't been on for a few days i completely skipped uh tea tuesday this week felt bad about that but um i was gonna make one late at night and then i thought no i'm just going to skip it this week because i've told everybody else you know it's an open collab and you can skip one week and jump in the next week. And so actually neither Kathy or I did a Tea Tuesday this um, last week. But that's okay. We'll go next week, you know. So I can't always be every single week. Um, but anyways, my videos have slowed down some. Uh, but it's starting to be beautiful weather outside. And you guys seem to really enjoy when I took you along to work with me when we drove to work. So I don't know, this weekend I might go do one where um, I'm driving around town and I'll show you our cute little town. Um, I also have these glitter gel pens. I think I bought them, I think I bought them um, online on Amazon. I'm really not sure. So I use all kinds of different um, kinds of media. I don't just stick with one thing. Um, this page right here, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't use any colored pencils on it. I would use all markers on this one. So today is um, the 9th and uh, it's a Wednesday. It's later afternoon. I called in sick from work this morning. I did not feel good. And um, I pulled my sciatic nerve really bad. And um, I threw up once. And so I just didn't want to go to work. And I, I never call in sick, you know, unless something's really wrong. So I stayed home all day today and relaxed and... I feel much better. Um, I think, what have I eaten for today? I think I've just had some toast, that's it. And um, I am now having a soda over ice, Coca-Cola. I guess I would say that's my vice. I have it right here. Um, I try not to drink more than two a day one at work and one at home. But since I didn't work today, I'm only gonna have one probably. And I probably shouldn't even have that because you know, empty calories, lots of sugar. I don't need either one, but um, I try not to have more than two. So I, um, it's beautiful outside, 73 degrees outside, but um, I don't want to take the dog for a walk today. I will this weekend because it's supposed to be real nice this weekend. Next week, it's supposed to be actually 79 degrees. So 
we are going right into um, summer, I feel like, you know? <laughs> Crazy, huh? But I have colored a lot of pages already this month. Um, coloring just seems to relax me, and I do it most of the time in the living room slash dining room area. So our dining room table, our big dining room table, is at one end and the living room's at the other end. And um, so if I do it in there, if I color in there, then I can spend more time with my husband. But right now I'm in my craft room so that I can video at the same time. And I have not been hanging out in my craft room a whole lot. So I got these, I showed you a long time ago, I bought these Peter Popper Press dual tip skin tone markers. They're a, um, an alcohol marker and I love them for skin tones. Well, they had a dual, they had the Peter Popper Press 24 colors and they don't make a larger one than that. But um, I bought it and I enjoy it. I really like it, but I really want, I found this one on Amazon and it's 250 markers. <laughs> and hey, I'm not gonna lie, I want it. But I don't know, we'll wait and see. Um, last weekend, my son came over and my grandson, and they helped me do a lot of yard work. And the yard looks so much better. Um, and so, they might come over again this weekend. I don't know, but, um, but they, my son weed eated a lot of the weeds and it really, really helps. So now I could get in and I need to rake all the weeds up and take them out to the back. Um, and then, yeah, it's looking way better. And I'm going to plant some flowers in my flower beds and my flower bed behind the house is full of weeds. I need to weed that. I started it, but I need to soak it and weed it. But I don't want to plant stuff that's going to require a lot of water because we are in a drought again. Yes, California is in a drought again. So we don't want to be using, you know, water up that, um, we don't need to. I've only been watering the lawn once a week because it's been so dry that I have to water it. Um, but I've only been doing it once a week and that's all I'm going to continue to do. It's just going to get watered once a week. I don't know. I might change that when it's 118 degrees outside, but for right now, it's just getting watered once a week because I'm trying really hard just to conserve water, you know. And then, with all this terrible stuff going on in the world, our gas prices are soaring. And I see a lot of you posting on YouTube or Facebook or different stuff, you know, the prices. But I do believe California is the highest. I'm not sure about New York City. But we are paying, we are now paying $6 a gallon for um, regular the lowest grade unleaded is $6 a gallon. And for diesel, for my husband's pickup, it's almost $7 a gallon. So it really makes you stop and think, okay, do I need, because I live 10 miles out, you know, and 10 miles back in. So on my day off, do I really need to go to town? Um, because it costs $100 to fill my tank. So, makes you really stop and think, you know, and then it makes me think, okay, so when I'm at work, I've got to go into town for that no matter what. So, that's when I should go do my shopping. So, that's what I'm, that's what I've been doing. And, um, I'm going to try on the weekends. If I don't have any plans, I'm just going to stay home, you know, I'm not going to run back into town. Um, I'll just... When I go shopping, I'll do it after work because I'm already in town. Just got to retrain our brains. And um, the price of food is going, everything's going to go up because of the price of gas. Because 
um, you know, that is more for the truckers to carry all our stuff, transport all our stuff. So, um, I always have shops local for groceries most of the time anyways, just because I don't like to travel 30 miles one way just to go get groceries. So that's what I would have to travel to go to a less expensive store. Um, sometimes I do enjoy going to the town over for groceries that's 30 miles because they have a different selection, you know. But realistically, I can get everything I need at the grocery store here in town. So, But I used to go grocery shopping on my day off, like Saturday or Sunday. And I'm probably going to change that to like Friday after work. That way, on my days off, I can just stay home and save money on gas. If I lived in town, I would just walk to work or ride a bike or something, you know. This is a very relaxing page. No stress to this. I don't ever like sit back and analyze, okay, what colors do I want to do? I just go and pick colors as I go. And then after I've used a color, I put it in here. I don't know why. It's like it's my rotation thing. I really like these gel markers though. I have started following so many um, coloring channels. And there's some colorists out there that just do amazing work. And then there's other colorists that I feel that are good colorists, but they color more like me. They're not like, you know, extraordinary, but they are good colorists and I love watching them. And I love seeing, I love seeing everybody's completed pages. And um, they make me feel like normal. <laughs> Let's see. This one's kind of. <clears throat> I'm going to try to start walking more, you guys. Get more exercise, lose some weight. Just feel better about myself. Like yesterday at work, I just felt like my pants were so tight, my shirt was tight, and I was not comfortable. So, you know, I just want to feel comfortable in my clothes. Even if I lost 20 pounds, I mean, I am overweight, but at my age now, I'm being realistic. And if I lost 20 pounds, I would feel a lot better. And then if I maintain that 20 pounds for a year or something, then I could lose 20 more pounds. You know? I, um... Bought season four of Yellowstone on DVD because I love that show. And I have the first three seasons, so I feel like I gotta buy it to add to my collection. And season five is going to air, I think, in August. Not sure. But that will be awesome. And I heard that they're gonna do 18 episodes. We watched, what did we watch today? Oh, 24 Days with Sandra Bullock and where she goes into a drug and alcohol rehab center. It was a good movie. We've been trying to watch some movies from our movie library. And so, um, I have four movies that I'm going to talk about in a different video. Maybe when I do Tea Tuesday next week, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it this weekend as an extra video. Sometimes I feel like I have the gift of gab and I can just talk and talk and talk. 
And then other times, like now, <laughs> what do I talk about? I'm running out of things to talk about. Silly, huh? And then um, I know that, like, a lot of colorists have videos that'll go for, like, two hours. Um, but I feel like they're teaching you more than I'm not really teaching you anything. Like, they're showing you how to do, um, you know, shading and blending. And I did do one last month where I did some shading with three different colors for my lilies, or I think it was lilies. And I was really proud of myself. I thought they turned out great. So, um, I'm, I'm getting better with my coloring. I've colored my entire life. All my life I've colored. When I was a little girl, I loved to color. And then um, when coloring wasn't even popular, and I, you couldn't find adult color books. I would either color in kids' coloring books or, I don't know, some of you re might remember they were called doodle arts. And they were like posters. And um, you could get them at Michael's all the time. Well, then, pretty soon, you couldn't get them at Michael's. And then I went to my mom's and dad's. They lived in Arizona. And their Michael's had them. So, in Tucson. So, um, I loaded up. I bought a ton of them. And I would color those. But then when adult color books came out, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Because <laughs> um, cause I loved coloring. And I don't know, maybe they had adult color books before and I just didn't know about it. But I think this big craze has been going on for about eight or ten years now were and then people are like oh the adult coloring book's not a big thing anymore and I'm like well maybe not to you <laughs> but to me it is like there's a lot of people that still color so yeah see I just kind of color random I don't um have set patterns. Some things maybe I do, but not not always. I've gotten to where I enjoy doing um, people now. I like coloring people. I still like doing mandalas, but I like doing people now, and I'm getting more comfortable with doing animals. I did a, a baby cub in one of my miniatures color books. I always say my goal for 2022 is to complete a color book, but then I buy so many new color books and then I try to give all my color books some attention. So I color like one page in each book for the month. And, um, so I don't know. I, I'm going to push myself. I, I really do want to finish a book, though. I think that would... I've never finished an entire book. And I see some people that have, and I'm just like, right on. I have so many um, color books in my uh, wish list or my cart on Amazon. It's not even funny. I'm trying to conserve money this year, so I only allow myself $25 worth of coloring supplies a month now. And um, I've been sticking to that, but um, I don't, I really don't need more color books, but I just see everybody hauling all these great color books. And then I'm like, ah! I didn't take anything out for dinner tonight because I didn't know how I was going to be feeling. Who knows? We might just have soup and a sandwich. I don't know. My husband's not picky, though. 
So it makes it much easier. He's very, you know, he doesn't care. He's appreciative of whatever I make. And I love that about him. My youngest son is coming next month from Montana with his wife and their children for about, I think I'm going to see him for like six days. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and he always lets me um, video him. He doesn't mind them being on YouTube. So we like to do taste tests. But I have to ask my other son if my other grandkids can be in the video because for a while they didn't want their kids in the video. So I'll have to ask them. Because I let, you know, my kids, they're, those are their children. So I respect whatever they, whatever they say, that's, you know, that's up to them. I don't know how many color books I have. I'm afraid to count. <laughs> so how, if you guys are colorists out there and you know how many books you have, Put it in the comments below. But I'm not sure. But I should count sometime. And I really don't even have a good um, place to store them. I've just been storing them in the extra bedroom. In a pile. So I really need to find another space for them. I wish this Peter Papa once had a... Um, an orange, but it doesn't, so. I don't think I can get this all done on a video for you guys. Because I feel bad when I make super long videos, you know, because I know you guys got other channels you want to watch um so i don't expect you to watch my whole video i'm not monetized on mine right now and i don't know if i'm gonna get monetized i mean i qualify for it but like right now my watched hours um are down from last month and um if I was monetized, I'd be worried about that, you know, like, because you have to keep up so many hours um, every 30 days in order to be monetized. And um, so I'm not, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to worry about that. Um, you know, I'm just a little over 2,000 subscribers. Maybe if I, I, I tell myself if I get to 10,000 subscribers, then maybe I'll monetize myself. But that's a lot of work for, you know, a little bit of money. And um, I personally don't like to watch ads. And that's how we would make our money. And so then I'm kind of asking for you guys to do that for me. And I don't know. I might change my mind later. Because, you know, I want to retire in. I'm 57 in eight years. I want to retire. And um, maybe by that time, I'll have built up enough subscribers that I would get a decent paycheck from them. But in eight years, there might not even be YouTube. <laughs> I mean, like, look at how fast TikTok has gone crazy. But the thing with TikTok that bothers me they really do not um, monitor very well in that because there is a lot of disgusting things on those channels on TikTok. And I feel like the grosser you are, the more views you get on TikTok and followers. I mean, like, these women have no self-dignities on there sometimes, you know. And they'll be on TikTok and they're 
just in their bra and underwear, climbing across their bed. And some of them are super overweight. And then people will say, oh, they're comfortable in their body. You guys be nice or whatever. And I said to one, I go, it, I don't care if they weighed 100 pounds or 600 pounds. What the heck are you doing on TikTok tracing, traping across a bed with just your underwear and your bra on? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they just are starving for attention. I don't know. I mean, they're going to do whatever they have to do to get followers or um, attention. You know, it's just like, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's wrong. And, and not all of them are like that on TikTok. There are some funny ones on there. There's some great cooking ones. The one thing I do like about TikTok is all the videos are three minutes or less, unless you do lives. So that's kind of cool. But um, some of them are just crazy. So who knows what will happen in like eight years from now. If there will even be YouTube or there'll be another social media, you know. I remember when it was um, MySpace. <laughs> that was like a long time ago. I didn't even have it. I didn't belong to it. That was before Facebook. Now they say Facebook is for old people. I must be old then. To break down and buy some um, Sharpies pretty soon, though, because mine are all getting dried up. And as soon as they get dry, I just throw them away. I mean, I use them, you know, until they're dead, but I've thrown a lot away. And I have a lot of markers, but some of them are not of good quality, and some of them my grandkids have gotten into, and they kind of ruin the tips. And so then when I find those, I... If the tips are bad in them or whatever for me, then I put them in a separate one for the grandkids because they don't care. I've got two granddaughters and my husband's granddaughter. They all color super good. And um, let's see, Riley's nine and Paisley is seven and Taylor is 11 and all three of them color really, really good. <clears throat> so they get to use the other markers because they know how to use them properly and they don't ruin them, you know, but, um, but the little ones like Savannah and Eleanor and Jackson, they uh, use my ones that aren't that great. And Tristan, he doesn't even have an interest in um, coloring. And Hayden is too small. My oldest granddaughter, Audrey, she loves to color. She's 16 now, so it's crazy. She, uh, she already got her driver's license. That's a way to make a person feel old, huh? This is such a great page. It's just so easy and so relaxing. And I'm not going to make you guys wait till the end with this. I will show it in my um, completed pages for March. And um, so come back at the beginning of March. I usually do it right on the 1st of March. Um, show all my completed pages and I will have this page in there. And I'm going to finish it probably with my DVD player, not DVD, my CD player running. Listen to some music. So you guys, thanks for stopping by and um, visiting with me. I don't do lives very much. I've done, I think I've done two lives in my entire life uh, on YouTube because... 
my internet out here is really bad. And so the last time I did one, it started to break up. Um, and then people couldn't hear me talking. And uh, like just this video alone will take about six or seven hours to upload. So um, back to work for me tomorrow. My sciatic nerve is feeling way better, so that's good. And my tummy's feeling better, so that's good. I'll probably go to bed early tonight, so I feel better for tomorrow. So, all right, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm wondering if I finally, finally mastered um, my camera position. I don't know if I did or not. I'll check before I post it. But I've been trying to get it so that you're looking straight down at the video where my book is instead of upside down. I usually have the tripod over there and pointed down. And lots of people gave me lots of um, tips. And so I hope that this turned out right. And one time I flipped it around and then it made me look like I was left-handed and I'm not left-handed. So I was just like, hopefully this works like this, so. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Take care. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.